What is up y'all? Alright guys, so I'm really excited to be filming this video today. I think this one's gonna be a lot of fun. Pretty much yesterday I was just living my life like I normally would and I just kind of had this idea. Today guys, we're gonna be testing this little idea of mine out. Now first thing, before we actually get into this, before we start anything, I have to head over, pick something up super quick. Whew. Okay guys. It's freaking hot out there. I did not think it was gonna be this hot today. But that is all good, man. We got what we needed. Let me kind of show you guys if you didn't see it already. This is a little laundry basket. This is just a little thing, a little pop-up hamper from Target. Now my idea, my plan here for today is that hopefully this can help us catch some fish. Now let me show you guys what I did yesterday. So if you guys just come along over with me to my closet over here, let me turn the light on. Now this is what I looked at yesterday right here. This is my inspiration for this video. I just kind of gave this thing a look and at first glance I was like, yo, this could probably catch some fish if I kind of like fix it up a little bit. I used this in college. You can see it's kind of just like falling apart. But this is like, this This is the inspiration, man. So this is the one that I just bought. It's a little bit bigger than this other one. But yeah, I mean, pretty much the same thing, right? Pop-up hamper. So guys, my plan here for today is to turn this little guy right here into a working fish trap. Now, when I say fish trap, I mean, we've done minnow trapping videos before on the channel. If you guys remember, I did some DIYs, do it yourself. So I did a water bottle and then I did the bigger bottle. Those are some cool videos, man. You guys seem to really enjoy those. And I actually kind of miss doing the whole fish trapping, minnow trapping thing. But this video, as I said, we're doing fish trapping. Now, we're not only going to be targeting minnows, we're going to see what we could actually trap in this thing right here. I mean, this is a laundry basket. I don't know if this is actually going to work or not. Yeah, guys, let's not waste any time here. Let's see what we can do to this guy. We can put this guy back in there. Now, this is kind of where my creative side is going to have to come out. Get this package out of there. One of the reasons I think this is going to work pretty well as a fish trap is that this is most likely going to sink. I mean, there's holes here. I'm pretty sure those are holes. Okay, yep. It is confirmed. These are holes, not just some material that works like holes or something, dude. So that is good. That's all I really wanted, man. The holes will help this to sink. All right, guys, 100% this was not part of the plan, but look at this freaking laundry basket. Look at the way it folds down here. Just goes right like that into a little freaking cube. Look at this. It even has little handles on it. This is literally freaking perfect, dude. Look at this, man. In what world do laundry baskets do that? All right, anyway, man, that is, that is amazing. I think that right there just made our life so much easier. What I'm thinking now, I mean, since there are the two handles, I mean, we don't even have to really... I think all I really have to do is cut a little hole somewhere, like, right around in the side. There you go. First incision. We don't want too big of a hole because, I mean, we don't want the fish just completely escaping. But, I mean, something around the size. Mm, let me see. Maybe a little bigger. There we go. We're going to drop this down right there. This is going to be attached to some rope so we can pull it back up. The fish are going to swim in here. They're going to go for the bait that we put in there. And I mean, they're just going to chill until we pull them up. That's the theory anyway. I'm not sure it's going to work. I'm going to put another hole like this, I think, on the opposite side, just so we can get like a better maybe percentage of fish that will, you know, find their way in. All right, y'all. There we go. That looks pretty freaking good to me dude looks like it's gonna oh my gosh dude so i'm gonna stop talking here and we're gonna go test this little dude out in the water by the way guys my girlfriend literally see all this like halloween stuff and everything this, this has been out for like ever she started putting like the fall and the halloween stuff out in like the middle of the summer anyway guys let's get to the body of water that we're gonna be going to today let's see it's this little trap man let's see if it works all right guys so i came over to this pond this is where we're gonna be doing the fish trapping if you guys do follow my channel you know i recently like kind of moved so i don't know really too many places to really do the fish trapping i do know that there are a lot of like sun fish and smaller fish around this area of this water right now i actually tied this is a little bit of rope and i tied that to just like the little handle right there so that's going to be how like we retrieve the fish trap it's going to go down the bottom then we're going to pick it up like that and hopefully that'll be fine and just pick it up like normal we also have some nice fresh water bread right here hopefully this makes for some good bait i mean hopefully these fish aren't like on a diet or anything all right let's bust this open right here we're not going to put too much bread in there just like enough you know all right hopefully this works man there's just something about water bread that fish seem to like that should be enough right there i don't know if you guys see that but the whole bottom there is covered we're just going to do this thing right here where we twist this dude i freaking love this man so as i said before guys these little holes right here hopefully the fish are going to go in one on that side one on that side hopefully the wander bread is going to draw them in they're going to try to eat the wander bread they're just going to be like busy and then we'll reel them up with our rope so let's see this is going to be the first cast here i'm not sure if this is going to work i'm going to try to oh my gosh this car is so loud Man. So I'm just literally gonna drop this right down below my feet. All right, let's see if this works then. Three, two, one. Uh-oh. It'd be easier if I was near the water. I could probably do this a lot better. Let me see if I could fix that. Mm. If we just had some weight, actually. Perfect. Um, oh, right, all right. So I'm gonna put one rock, put one right there and one right there. So hopefully that will, uh, yeah, hopefully that'll work. All right, we need more rocks. This current's stronger than I thought it would be, actually. All right, we have like six rocks in there now. This is a lot heavier now. 
Okay, well, it's definitely down there. Um, so I'm gonna kind of like tie it off over here a little bit. We're gonna see, I mean, I don't know, dude. All right, guys, I just went and talked on the phone for about like 20 minutes-ish. This thing has kind of been sitting in the water. I don't really, I don't know if I see anything in there, man. Now, I thought I'd have a better chance of catching fish if I put this trap on this side of the creek, but I didn't realize how actually strong the current was, as you can see over here. I mean, it's kind of rushing in from this side, going straight down through our trap, which is a good thing and a bad thing. I think for that specific trap, though, I mean, you guys can see the current coming in. I might push it to the side over here a little bit into this water. I mean, I see a log down there, but this water is just a little bit more calm. Yeah. All right, that guy was pretty nice. He came up and talked to me for a little bit. Let's see, man. This thing has been here for a while now. Let's just pull this up. Any fish in here? Absolutely nothing. All right. Actually, I'm going to put it over here. All right, so we had a bit of technical difficulties. I tried to put it on this side. The current was just trying to try to put it on that side. It just wasn't working that I put it over here. Finally, this is where it is going to rest right there. I have some bread below and some of it's floating at the top. Now, while that is in the water trying to catch some fish with a little fish trap, we're going to go over here and get a rod and actually try to catch fish like with, with the rod. All right, let me show you guys the setup here. So we're pretty much just rocking a little drop shot rig. We have a little drop shot weight down there. And then coming up, we have, stop spinning around. We have this tiny little uh, twitch bait slash minnow imitation slash just like tiny bait here. I don't know if you guys just heard that or not, but a freaking, I think that was a giant water snake just jumped into the water right next to me. Holy crap, man. I have to be more aware of my surroundings. I thought it was like a frog or something, but then I saw a tail. It looked like an eel in the water, but it came from the surface. Bro, what is with me and freaking snakes, man? Just about every video I've been filming. Oh, almost got snagged there. Just about every video I'm filming, I've been freaking running into snakes. Ah, I don't like that, man. I don't like that. There we go. What the heck is that? Let's go, dude. First fish of the day. What is that? Oh, is that a little white perch? Is that what that is? He literally had that whole thing in his mouth. Definitely interesting. All right, it looks like we got a little, it's a little white perch, right? Yeah, it looks like a white perch. All right, man, first fish should hit. Nice little white perch. Did not expect that. All right, let's let this guy go back into the water. All right, let's see what else we can get, man. There's a lot of fish that was going for this stuff. All right, y'all, spent a little bit of time chilling. I fished a little bit more. I actually tripped and fell into the freaking dirt a little bit. Now, I do not know if this is gonna have anything in it or not. <sighs> it's been in there for a while though, so I mean, I don't know, dude. Oh, let's see. Is there any fish in here? Bruh. Oh my God, what the heck? Okay, okay, well, there is not any fish yet in here we do have somebody in there um all right guys can anybody tell me what kind of turtle that is man look, look at that little dude all right i'm not really sure if that means if this works or not i mean this isn't a fish all right we're gonna go ahead and let old buddy go right there man put him right there yeah he wastes no time getting back into that water dude all right y'all new spot i think this is gonna be the juice Oh yeah, that's the money cast right there, dude. All right, I don't know, man. Let's see what happens here. My spirits are a little bit up from that little turtle. Better than not catching anything. So guys, a lot of the fish I've been catching so far, I mean, they're not really too interesting to show you. I mean, they're just a bunch of sunfish, but I thought this one was actually really pretty. It's a little uh, little pumpkin seed right here. Got this guy in one of those little minnow imitations. I'm just gonna let him go back in the water. But yeah, man, I mean, it's cool catching those fish. I'm happy to catch all these different species. So far, I think I've got green sunfish. I got bluegill, red breast, no, I mean, not red breast. Um, yeah, pumpkin seed. But I think I'd rather catch them in my little trap right there. So we're gonna let it soak a little bit longer. Yeah, man, it's a very, very nice day out here. Hopefully get some fish in this trap. All right, y'all, it is time. This thing has been in here for a decent amount of time and it has like, it, it's the perfect position right now. Please be something in there. All right, bringing it towards us. Oh, let's see, man. Let's see. All right, now I felt a little bit of vibration here. Not gonna lie. So I'm going to bring this, I think, further up to land. Whew. All right, guys. Let's see, man. Let's see. The heck? Oh, my gosh. Okay, okay. Hold on. Dude, can you guys see that? I, you probably can't. Right over there. Let me see what the heck this is. Oh, my gosh. I cannot believe this actually freaking worked, dude. Whew. All right, guys. There we go, man. Tiny little green sunfish. Dude, it freaking worked. Let's get this little dude back in the water. Thank you so much, man, for biting that. Oh, my. What am I saying? Biting that for getting stuck in my fish trap. All right, let's go back over here. I don't think... Was there anything else in there? 
All right, that looked like the only fish. Oh my gosh, dude, let's freaking go, man. I don't care if it's one fish, I don't care if it's half of a fish. We freaking caught a fish in this little thing right here, man. I've been at this place for like hours now, just trying to succeed with this trap, man. I think, I don't know, I thought it was gonna be such a good trap and just like easy to put down and easy to use, but I guess that's really never how it works. <laughs> yeah, man, you can see it right there in all of its victorious glory, there is our little fish trap. Now, if you guys wanna see me make a fish trap out of anything else, let me know down in the comments below. This is actually a lot of fun. I understand it was not my most successful or the most successful fish trap ever it's actually looking pretty dirty in there but yeah man i mean there's room for improvement you know maybe i should make a 2.0 of this fish trap right here i don't know let me know what you guys think in the comments below i can't even talk right now like i don't know why i get so excited about the little things i mean we caught a tiny green sunfish in a little laundry basket it's just so much fun man a beautiful day like this <laughs> As I was saying, a beautiful day like this spent outside. It might have been a little bit toasty earlier, but the sun is starting to sink a little bit behind these trees. It's just like, it's a good end of summer vibe, you know? All right, y'all. Now, after I caught that fish in that trap, I was like, yo, let me actually try to catch some, like, bigger species of fish with the rod and reel. I don't know why it's so difficult to fish at that place. I'm not sure if there really aren't fish there at all. I don't know, man. I just could really not catch anything that wasn't a panfish, you know what I mean? So much fishing went into this video, and I just really, I don't know if I, I don't know about that pond, dude. I don't even know if it's a pond. I think it's, like, a river slash lake. Apparently, the guy was telling me it's actually saltwater, and there's crabs there. He thought I was crabbing. Maybe I'll have to go back there and crab sometime. I don't know, man. Do you guys like this kind of video let me know in the comments below it's definitely fun for me to make especially making like random fish trap out of like i don't know that idea came out of like nowhere yeah guys i do wish we could have been a little bit more successful if you guys have any recommendations on how to make that fish trap better definitely let me know in the comments below thank you guys so much for all the support i mean i'm still having so much fun making all these videos now if you do enjoy my videos and if you're not already make sure to go down there hit that subscribe button and if you never ever want to miss an upload from me go down there hit that notification bell all my links are in the description my t-shirt link the instagram everything like that yeah man i just i mean thank you so much for all the support let's keep this rolling man thank you guys for watching see you next video you